Hello. Many of you have asked me this weekend when you saw me, um, so what's the deal with COVID? What's going on? And what we know is our transmission rate is up above one, which obviously isn't good. We know that after all of these years and working in this. Um, the good news, if there is any, is that um, we are not seeing increased hospitalizations at a sustained rate. We did see cases start to pick up again. Now they've gone back down. We're gonna to continue to be vigilant. Our vaccine center is open for both vaccines and boosters, and we have all three types, whether it's a Moderna, a J&J, &J, or a Pfizer, you can get any one of those there. Um, the hours are listed on the screen above. And again, it's um, Friday, Saturday, Monday. Um, others have asked me about, you know, AIM, where, where are we in reference to the kids for five and under? Um, the data is still out. And so the feds are not going to be making any harsh decisions or rash decisions until we get the data we need. So I'm sorry. I know that that is of great stress to many young parents. And um, I promise you, as soon as we know something, we will indeed transmit that to you. So, you know, we continue to be present um, with our vaccines as you always are present for us. And uh, I want to do a big shout out today to the Vineland Fire Department um, stations one through six. They had EMS involved, the Fire Prevention Unit, the Office of Emergency Management. They had a t-shirt drive to create awareness around breast cancer. And all of the proceeds went to the Frank and Edith Scarpa Regional Cancer Pavilion in Vineland. And we are so very grateful to them because it's another example of our community stepping forward and assisting us um, in something that we know is very important, making sure people are getting their screenings and making sure people um, know about the resources that are available in their home community. I also wanna tell you that we have two different celebrations in April for recognition. The first is autism awareness. Um, one in 44 children at age of eight in the United States are diagnosed with autism. And in New Jersey, it's higher, it's one in 35. There isn't anybody that doesn't have a niece, nephew, child, somebody in your community um, that you know that is impacted with autism. And making sure that we are fully present um, to acknowledge that there are challenges when you have a child with autism or create that um, space space for people with autism to be able to be quiet and not have the triggers that may exist in the general community. And I really want to commend our community for working so hard to make sure um, that all people with disabilities have the supports and services they need to be able to thrive. In addition, April is Occupational Therapy Month. I know from just use, use of the iPad and um, the computer, that carpal tunnel syndrome and having some really weaknesses in your hands and in how you, you commit your um, activities of daily living are really important. So making sure you identify the services that you may possibly need, talking to your doctors. We have great therapists on board that I know are really interested in supporting all of us to make sure that we can live our fullest life. So today I want to tell you about one of our patients, um, Nicole Riggio. And uh, Nicole uh, participated in our bariatric program and she talked about the tremendous support that she got um, after she attended a local fair with her child. She went to get on one of the rides and realized that she wouldn't fit in that ride. And it was just devastating to her to think that she wouldn't be able to do all those things that she wanted to do with her children. So she reached out um, to Dr. Nicole Zaccone, um, who connected her with Dr. Kreitz at the Bariatric Center. And there, um, Brady Rojas and the team really wrapped themselves around Nicole and gave her all the support she could possibly have to be able to go through the surgery. So the whole team really works with you on that process of counseling, of making sure that you've, we've made the right decision together um, in reference to what procedure works. And obviously, the most importantly, um, that we support you through every leg of this journey. So I'm thrilled to tell you that that surgery was a tremendous success. And um, Nicole actually able, is able to live that quality of life that she wants and be able to do those things with her children. And most importantly, she has a tremendous sense of self-confidence that she didn't have before. Nicole, thank you so much for your generosity and sharing your story. And of course, thank the Inspira team for being with you through every part of that journey. Until we meet again, be well and stay safe.